So this is my first webinar in 2022, such a brand new year. So, uh, you know, um, this job I have at Community CPA offers me a really good view of the business landscape. So coming through 2021, getting into 2022, and I know what you're thinking. If you're a business owner and you are like, I hope we don't have another 2021. And uh, with all of these labor um, market uh, turmoils, labor market changes, and only few people and on the labor market are set in stone, are very firm with what they have. And the majority of the people are like leaves floating on the water. They're just going by the waves. So wherever that gets uh, the most money and people becoming very short vision. So no one have a commitment. And it's just a difficult time to develop a team, right? But 2022 is different. And I hope 2022 offers us a way out of pandemic because we have been in there for two years. Two years is long enough for young people to think that's their lifetime. And for a eight years old, not going to school for a whole year, that's a lifetime. And for someone 50 years old like me, and that's not lifetime. And I know that's just two years, a very short years. So I hope that and with historical data to support our assumption, 2022 should be the way out of the pandemic. So the first sign of out of pandemic is not that more people are getting COVID, right? More people are getting COVID, but more people are treating or experiencing COVID like flu-like symptom and it's not going worse. Is not killing anybody. It is just like you caught a flu, right? So hopefully the mentality will shift. Business will remain open. And the face mask, I like face mask in the winter because make you feel so warm, right? And when I was a kid back in China in the winter, we do face mask because when we ride bicycles, all of these sand blowing winter and just cold, we all have face masks. It's not for coronavirus, it's for the wind and for the cold. So make your face feel warmer. All right, so today's topic is about tax due date. It is a reflection of whether we're gonna be out of COVID or not. Guess what? We did not have any changes to the tax due days. Tax due days are coming back normal. That is a good sign. So right before I did this webinar uh, coming online, I actually had a uh, cat to go onto internet, go onto IRS website, state website, and to do the final checking, who knows, some governors or, you know, someone decided we are severely in COVID, so we have to change our tax due date. So, hey, no such a thing, um, ladies and gentlemen. So we are really good, right? So, so uh, before we talk about before we talk about tax due dates, I told you that due date didn't change. That's a sign of we're coming out of pandemic. And of course, you can check our uh, website, check our YouTube to know our video, but let's dive right into our content today. Of course, no responsibility related to the content, and don't just uh, snip pick things and then apply to your life significantly. Make sure you consult with your tax preparers, with your attorney, and we do have attorneys in our firm, and we, um, you know, we have a lot of loads of experience for you, and you can always look into us. So now, due days. Individual due dates, I know you know that's April 15, but I want to add some content for you right here. And if you were going to do a mark to market election, which is related to the day traders, right? And April 15 is your due date to do that election for year of 2022. Did you hear me? So April 15, 2022 is the election for your um, day trader business mark to market election. The last day is April 15th of 2022. 
So make sure I have a lot of people. I, I would say a lot of people coming to us. Oh, you know, I want to elect mark to market for 2021. April 15, 2022 is the due date. No, you are off by a year. You cannot already know the result of 2021 and the do mark to market election is literally IRS will deny you. I don't see any successful cases out there. And in the tax court, someone was able to defeat IRS on these late election. And um, what the court allow IRS to do is the court will say that if IRS lost tax revenue, because you are doing this late election, that could be the sole reason for IRS to not allow you for that late election. You see that? So IRS can take a position saying that I'm losing my tax dollars if I give in this election, so I deny it. So that's their right to do that. So make sure April 15 is an important due date. Important due date for you purchase retirement product, right? To reduce your taxes. If you bought $6,000 traditional IRA, and then if your income is under the threshold, you would save about $1,200 taxes right there. So April 15 is for traditional IRA, a retirement benefit purchase, and it is for your uh, mark to market election. And it is an important due date for you, 1040, and and your company, C Corp, that is, if your C Corp is from January to December, then your due date is April 15. And before that, before April 15, what else is really important due date? What you need to know is March 15. If you have a business like S Corp, pass through entities, and you know, LLC, and you are actually needing to file that on March 15. So when March 15 comes, you file the 1120S LLC, and then you get the K-1, you file your personal on April 15. Of course, I, um, you know, I was, I didn't talk about, um, I did not talk about uh, the extension, right? You could file extension. Sometimes people has this imaginary disadvantage of extension. People goes, no, I don't want to file extension because IRS will notice me. And, or they say that I just don't want to file extension because that just means I am late and you know, government don't like that. And no, that is not the reason. That is not how government will view you when you file extension. Extension filing only extend the paper of your file. This doesn't extend the amount that you need to pay. So just keep in mind that extension is only extending the due date of the paper, but it's not extending the payment due date. If you owe taxes, April 15 is the due date to pay, but you will not owe taxes in um, in your LLC or S Corp filing. So typically you don't have anything to, to pay in, but April 15, that's where the IRS system is clicking for cash. That's when they got a lot of payment coming in and the White House get paid and uh, the government machine is running on April 15 to collect cash. Of course, people filing taxes, not all of them pay money into the IRS because they, they already paid the money through their payroll or they are low income earners and they're getting money back from the IRS. But overall, the IRS is in the business to make tax dollars, but not to pay you for nothing. So uh, obviously IRS is making money. Otherwise we won't even have White House anymore, right? And uh, these maintenance of White House, of course, is the taxpayers' dollars. All right. So I mentioned about April 15 is 1120 C Corp student, right? But then some people may say that, well, how come my 1120 is due in February or in different time? And that is because your C Corporation is a physical year end. So it probably started in November, ended in October. So it is different from January to December. So just keep in mind that your C Corp dues, once your year ends and you give 4.5, then you will find the month that is due. So make sure that you know the C Corp depends on the 
fiscal year, and it could be due at a different time. There is a nonprofit organization. They also file information tax return. That tax return is due on May 15. So we talk about 1040 due on April 15, and um, your 1120S and 1065, which is the partnership filing, they are all due on March 15, right? And then if you file the extension for the partnership and also LLC, and then our 1120S, then that got extended to when? Six months extension, it went to September 15. So same with your 1040 and the, sketch, uh, the C Corporation, it is the October 15 due date, right? So you either file them in the spring or you file them in the fall. So the government are so kind, they leave you the summer, to enjoy. Actually, they leave the summer for the tax preparers, so we can have at least some time in the year. We don't have to catch due days, but it wasn't true for the last two years, right? We've been, you know, changing due days all over the place, and the tax preparer didn't have any rest and it, for those two, two years because it's just always tax season. Not cool, and uh, we really wish that this is the year come out of pandemic. And I really would give the government a surplus and a thumb up to say that, okay, good, you didn't change your due date for, on us. Just please don't change due dates on us. Um, it is so complicated when they change due date. All right. So these are the things that I want to mention related to the due date. And I want to also bring up one more important information for you. It is different than before. And in the past, we have taxpayers who likes to receive the check copy from IRS. So they just like to see that statutory uh, liberty and the yellow check, uh, the green check from the state. So they like to feel the paper and knows that my return is here and this is good and know that time has changed. And this postal service is literally non-reliable. And you don't know how long that takes for the mails to come through. And especially if you owe IRS money, you just mail it like that, not good enough. They're not responsible for your mail it takes two, two months to arrive IRS. By the time your check arrives IRS, you already have to pay the same amount for penalty. Right? So having said that, I want you to think about changing the way of doing taxes. And that this year in 2022, have a direct deposit. Make sure the bank account on your tax return is a correct one, is yours, not somebody else's. And to make sure the money get direct deposit instead of having IRS to mail you a menu check. So that is one thing to have direct deposit coming to your coming into your account. But for people who needs to pay estimated taxes on April 15, you know, for the first quarter of 2022, my advice to you, very sincerely, you do it electronically. You go on the government website to do it electronically and I do not mail your check. I have one client, I'm telling you, just related to this check thing, we spend hours, hours trying to figure out what happened to the postal mailing. Finally, postal mailing arrived the government two and a half months later, but our client is already so impatient and they already paid it online again. So we doubled, we double paid taxes and because we don't really know what happened to the checks. And so for that reason, make sure you take a new approach. If you are never a person wanting to do uh, wanting to do electronic, you have so much doubt about the system security, and you can always ask useful questions to your tax preparer. Ask them what system do you use, and do you have uh, do you have firewall to protect the data? Where do you save your data? So let me answer that question to you about a community CPA. Okay. And we use Thomson Reuters, and which is one of the largest 
software company in United States, and none of their parts are actually going out of the country. So they are in US and their developers right there in an amber in Michigan. So they are local folks, they're local company developing very high end hospital law firms and uh, accounting firm software. So they are our provider. And in terms of our data is also secured with Thomson Reader. So we bought, we bought into their safe storage, which um, we were told the storage is actually in Minnesota and is an underground bunker is nuclear cleared. So it's really, it is, there are people are really into data safety and will get your data right. So in 20, 27 years of practice here at Community CPA, we have not had any data leak, N never had a security issues in the firm. So that tells you how a firm can be this way. It is not something that people cannot do. So ask that question. And once you have that secured and you know that your data is safe and you, you know, you can go about doing business and it's safe to give out your bank account information so your accountant can schedule your payment for you. And in terms of your account, if you work accounting works with uh, CPA firms, it is so absolutely wise for you to acquire accountant login from the bank for your accountant. Several benefits. Number one, so when they, if you have accountant login, your accountant will never need your code anymore. They don't call you say, hey, what's your code? They just went sent to your cell phone. So you don't have that anymore. They can log in and set their own password. And the accountant login also only allow the accountant to look at your transaction, download your transaction, but would not allow them to manipulate your transaction. What if you come across a bad apple and it just started to, you know, taking money out of your account, right? You don't know. And to prevent that, it is a business owner's responsibility to make sure that the accountants are only getting accountant login. So these are a small safety tips that you want to consider for 2022 and making sure that um, you are safe, your data safe, your profile is safe. So nobody is going to run around with your money out there. And your de direct deposit is a way to pay IRS and is a way to receive IRS dollars. So never underestimate that. So we, we are almost towards to the end of the webinar time. And I also, one, my one last thing is that when you, are, when you are a business owner and you have your business and you have your, your family, and one advice for you is that it is the best recommendation from your experienced CPA firm to tell you that it is always the best. When you do your taxes, you, you put your business and the personal taxes together with one firm. You don't want to split your, your things everywhere because nobody have a holistic view for you. Nobody can come up with superb idea how to save your taxes, make it efficient. But if you have all of your family map in front of you and then you will be able to figure out and or your tax accountant will find ways to make your tax um, payment much more efficient to, to make you use the tax dollar to the maximum and the do the right thing, but yet save a lot of taxes. All right, so this is all we have for today. I hope you really enjoyed meeting me here. And I do, I, you know, I know we don't dialogue this way, but I so know that you are with me. And I have, uh, you know, I have the clients coming to me, tell me that they missed one of my webinars. So they went back to the YouTube. And then what happened is they start spending time going through all the videos from the past when they didn't know me. So um, at the end, one of the, one of the uh, YouTubers was telling me that he literally spent 24 hours going through all of the videos that we have in there and the choose and the pick and he thought it was really a great place to gain business knowledge and we want to carry that name into 2022 and encourage your friend, your business partner to subscribe to our channel and always learn. There's no other ways to be successful in business, especially during pandemic. How many new things we learn? So many, right? PPP, ERC, RF, and pandemic payment, 
and all of these changes that Biden pushed through. So how many things did we learn? We have to learn so much in a very short time. And how did you learn? And you learn through our YouTube. We literally, we have businesses coming on board with us because they gone through 2020 pandemic relying on our videos, relying on our webinars. They followed what we talked about and get through. It is just a really, it's such a heartwarming, encouraging comments from our folks. And I just want you to know that this is where you can invest in yourself by gaining knowledge because knowledge is the power. If you have the knowledge, you will save taxes. And the people, if President Trump pays only some $100 taxes for multi-billion dollar companies that he has, don't you think there's a ways to be tax efficient not to that degree, we don't know how he does it, but in many degrees. And you should never borrow money to pay taxes. If you borrow money to pay taxes, you need to come into community CPA. Let me take a look. I do not believe that's right. You're doing something wrong. Okay. All right. Talk to you again and um, love seeing you here. And have a great week. I will see you on Saturday. Bye-bye. Mm,